Hi there, boys and girls. It's Miss Fernandez here. Today, I wanted to remind you that I want all of our assignments that we are going to be doing in our distance learning for the rest of the year to be in cursive, right? Except for two things, right? Those things are word study and math. So what I am going to do is, well, first, I bought these handy dandy new pens. Well, various markers, but you know how much I love these, right? So what I am going to encourage you to do is if you do have a whiteboard near you or pencil, paper, if you have an easel, if you have something in your house, I would like you to bring that to, pause me and then bring that to your seat. It's just purple, purple, purple. So what I am going to be doing to start off is I would like you to please start with your capital letters from A to F. I just kind of want to review these. I know that you know these, but we really have to make sure that we are reviewing, and each day I'm going to make sure that we can review a certain amount of letters um, or maybe a section of letters. So, right here, I'm going to do this as best as I can. As you know, this is how we hold our pencil correct, like this making sure that we have that little pinch to it. It's not this, this, we don't want to do that, right? So we have an A goes up and like that, that is your capital A. Your lowercase a should model that, correct? So we've talked about the B before. When you do a capital B, you do a little carrot, down, back up, circle, circle. Something like that, right? Your lowercase b is going to have more of like an L and then a quick um, little point at the end. For your capital C, it is pretty basic. Your lowercase c is going to be the same. A lot of these are basically just mini versions of the other. Um, and as we put together words, I can also review a little bit more um, what we are doing. So if I wanted to write the word cab, I would do C, A, B. And we're going to go to D. It's a two. Remember that little two when we go up? Like this. Hopefully you can see it. Down, two, up. Right? Which is super important. So, another word that you could write in lowercase, think about another word, using these letters that you could write in lowercase. Bad. What else do we have? We have cab already. A dab, to dab something like a piece of paper or like a wet one onto a dry erase board, correct? So what I would like you to do now <clears throat> is to please come up with your own words um, using letters from A to F. So I am going to erase what I have here and then I am going to ask you to um, take a moment and kind of just practice um, uppercase A. Um, to uppercase F and then the lowercase. So lowercase and uppercase A to F. Right, we have an E as an egg and F as in Fernandez. I have seen that the F can be tricky. What we do with the F, you go like this. Kind of do almost like a you know, little pointer with a little indent and then a cross. Lowercase f, up, down, boom. It's really muscle memory, right? I also encourage you, if you have sand, if you have anything at home that you can use with your hands, this also might be helpful for that as well. Um, for E, it's pretty easy. Get it? Easy. Um, and... It's very similar to uppercase, but remember, you want to be holding it correctly. You want to have that good posture. You don't want to be slouching. Um, you want to have that correct. All right, so the next thing I'm going to have you do is I would like you to take your first paragraph of your expository writing. 
and I want you to write it in cursive. If you've already done it, it's okay, do it again, or you can use your whiteboard or anything else to help you practice. And then after that, I can just give you some free time to um, work on your handwriting app and to just perfect your cursive. And I believe everybody took home their handwriting books, but I'll check with you and I hope that this little lesson helped and let me know if you have any questions and just know that we're still gonna be learning cursive and sooner than later, we're gonna have something live for everybody. So you'll be able to work one-on-one -on -one, um, with the teacher and well, really everyone together with the teacher um, live. So be excited for those updates. Thank you.